Hello everybody, and welcome to another Playmates review. I thought I was done with the Godzilla X Kong stuff, which I've wrapped up, but there is more on the way. There is a whole new wave of Godzilla X Kong Playmates figures still on the horizon, so it's far from over. But we have something new to look at today, and this is in the form of the Titan Tech figures. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a quick haul video that I came across these figures at a Toys R Us, and so they had all three of them. They had Rodan, which is this one, and they also had Kong and Godzilla. So I picked up all three of them, and so we're going to review them. So today, we are going to be looking at the Rodan, which is fantastic because Playmates has never done a Rodan figure before. And this is currently the only form of Rodan that they have done. I haven't found any other King of the Monsters figures apart from Ghidorah, and that was about it. So if you missed out on the Jack specific Rodan figures back in 2019, well, Playmates might just have you covered here because despite this being a Titan Tech transforming figure, it can still function very well as just Rodan itself. You can just ignore the transforming feature of it and say that you want to get a Rodan figure. So that is what we're going to look at today. How good is this Rodan in terms of Playmates quality, not Jack specific quality? So without further ado, let's get on with it, shall we? So. First and foremost, we have this open style packaging, of course, and this packaging is the general MonsterVerse packaging. It's not dedicated to a specific movie, which I'm not gonna lie, has some of the fantastic artwork, because obviously we have Mechagodzilla, we got Godzilla and Kong, we have a war bat there. It's a pretty cool style packaging, that's for sure. Also, my I mentioned this is a pretty big package for its size. When I finally saw this in person, I honestly didn't expect the packaging let alone the figure be this big so quite impressive if i do say so myself then we have the transforming feature here on the box showing you that this is how you can transform him and put armor on him titan tech rodan and then we have the try me sign right there which i assume is you can try you can swap out the armor right is that is that what they're going for here yeah there you go just to show you the demo of the armor there so that's the try me feature and then there's one side and then the other side here we're here transform for titan tech battle which of course is not lore it is not part of the lore it ain't canon okay so anyone gonna say what the hell is this this is just strictly as a cool toy feature at the bottom of the box here we got titan tech godzilla and titan tech kong and the other logos and all that nothing too interesting and then here is the back this is where it kind of just advertises everything you can do in the figure again again showing you the the alternate look it'll be in after the transforming process you have the description here in french and that's about it so it's nothing too interesting going on here and you know the packaging is nice and all but obviously i want to see what this figure looks like when it's out of the packaging so that is the box let's crack this rodan open Thank you. 
it's been taken out of the box. And speaking of taking it out of the box, it was quite a, it was a bit of an inconvenience. I did have to damage the box a little bit, and which I would do I do like to try to conserve my packaging, but unfortunately not, or else this figure wasn't gonna come out at all. So, with that being said, let's take a look at this thing. And I gotta say, I am very impressed. This is Playmates quality we're talking about here. And so, the Ghidorah was pretty solid when I got it, but keep in mind it was a regular 6 inch figure. This Rodan is made of a higher budget, and because the size is larger, it's larger than the Battle Roar figures. It's like, this thing is almost like 8 inches. This is bigger than the Battle Roar figures, supposedly. But the quality definitely shows right here. This is a very high quality Rodan and it completely beats up the Jack specific Rodan figures for sure. Now, if you're confused on the transforming process, well, fear not. They do include a little instruction sheet to show you how to do exactly that. And this is very, very useful because I remember back then, when I was a little kid, I had these transformer toys that were just very confusing with the actual transforming feature. So I had to follow the instruction book every time I wanted to transform Optimus Prime either into the truck or the robot mode. So I'm glad I have this here. Step by step instructions with the pictures to show you visually step by step instructions with pictures to show you exactly how to transform Rodan and I assume for Godzilla and Kong. It will be the same thing here. It will show you exactly how to accomplish your transforming feature without any confusion. And if you don't read English, fear not. There is a French version back here as well. So this is very, very useful. And that's why I haven't put this away yet because I want to actually understand how this transforming feature works. So I'll pull it back out in a bit. For now, I just want to look at this figure originally before it gets transformed. This was around 40 Canadian dollars that I paid for. So a little bit on the pricier side, but does it maintain quality? For sure, it definitely does. And when I'm holding this figure, it actually feels like a solid high quality toy. The wings are the primary feature of Rodan actually, that's what he uses in combat, whereas Ghidorah doesn't really utilize his wings in combat, he just uses it to fly around. Rodan uses his wings in combat, and he does have this natural ability where his wings can cause a giant windstorm. So, that's why they had to make these wings very, very big, and I, and he just looked like your average pterodactyl, that's for sure, but you gotta remember, this is like a kaiju, so he is bigger than your average dinosaur. <laughs> now, the colors are pretty good. This is the original Rodan color scheme, and so Playmates was able to respect that pretty well. The shading is very nice here on the wing. As you can see, the edges, it has this brown grayish color, and inside we have a more brown, red, dark red color, and then you have one little strip of just pure red there. I like that mixture of colors. It's good shading, and I think they've done a pretty good job on mixing it well. It doesn't look messy. You can see the colors are arranged nicely. And through the main body, it's kind of the same thing here. Up to the legs, the legs are just one red brown color, which is not bad to say the least. I will say that the legs do look quite short. Like his thighs are thick, but then the rest of his legs are as thin as anything. But it does help him stand up. The main problem I had with the Jack specific Rodan is that that Rodan could not stand up on its own. And even though that Rodan's wings could fold and this Rodan could not fold his wings, at least the structure designed on this Rodan, he can actually stand up without tipping over forward. That was the main issue with the Jack specific one, the tiny one and the medium one. Because even though the wings were folded in, that's the only way you can prop him up. Now, actual articulation? No. No articulation at all. If you thought these were joints? No, there are screw holes to keep the legs together, so there is no articulation at all on this figure. Not even on the wings. You cannot flap the wings. The wings are just attached together on each side, which is kind of the same thing with Ghidorah, but of course, this is, a, I, this is definitely higher quality than the Ghidorah, that's for sure. So, zero articulation, which is unfortunate, don't get me wrong, but it does make up for it with its transforming play features, so... There is some playability in the end. 
before we do the transforming though, let's look at the head. The head is pretty small if you compare it to the rest of the figure, but it is designed pretty well. The beak has this black tip at the end, which is pretty nice. And then you can see that there's actual eyeballs on his eyes. That was something that the Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire figures, the six inch ones lacked, is that there was no emotion because the eye just was one color, one paint color, and that was it. I would say the visuals on this Rodan is pretty straightforward. They're just using main colors just to color him well. And the thing with Rodan is he does have lava at the tip of his wings. So it would be nice if he got some transparent orange at the tip of the wings. I think that would look really, really sick. But I guess that would cost Playmates more and therefore this figure could possibly be more expensive. But it would be nice if we actually got some really cool transparent coloring. Also, yes, those are his claws. They are on there, they didn't forget him. So you can see the tip of his claws are black as well. And the same thing with these claws right here. So it is pretty much it. There's not much I can really talk about because there is not a lot going on with Rodan here. No articulation, which is unfortunate. But now let's look at its main play feature, which is the transforming feature. Hence, that's why this is called the Titan Tech. Now. Again, this is just for the sake of the toy. This doesn't actually happen in the MonsterVerse canon. And so the Godzilla and Kong, they look cool after being transformed, but that they ain't canon, okay? These are just for the sake of cool looking toys. And for Rodan's case, I'm actually quite curious to see because he's wearing green armor with his transforming features. So let's pull out the instruction sheets right here and let's take a look at this. So step one, open the back of the figure, Pull out the back armor piece and flip it to the outside. Ah, you can, okay. There we go. So inside are some of the armor pieces and then pull out the back armor and flip it onto the outside. So we, I guess we gotta open all this up. All right, all right, there we go. So we flip this over, close this up, I assume. And then now we just put the armor over him. Yeah, like that. That's sick, with the Monarch logo too. And then fold this armor piece back here. And there you go, it's like putting, literally putting on a t-shirt on this guy. And then there's a little clamp here, just lock that in place. Boom, there you go. So that's step one. Step two, for the chest armor. Fill up the chest armor and open flaps on each side. Continue to flip chest armor in the front of the figure and lay it in place on the chest. So. This, there we go. And then step three, close the back of the figure, we did that already. So step four, make the final adjustments. A, fill up the blades on the shoulder armor. B, slap the Monarch logo at the center of the chest armor in place, we did that as well. Flip the center of the chest to expose additional chest armor, which we also did, so we're getting ahead of this thing. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we already assembled the wings, that's good. Number five is flip up the wing pieces on the front of the wings. So these pieces, okay, we gotta flip these up. Oh, okay, I didn't realize there's a different color of red underneath. Well, might as well show you now. There is a different color of red underneath. Number six is this. Open the top of the leg from the kneecap, pull out the shin armor out and rotate it into place over the shin and then close the top of the leg. So the legs open up, really? Ah, they do. Okay, so there is no articulation. That makes sense. All right, so the legs open up. All right, so the knee armor is done. The last step here, open the back of both wings. Rotate all the armor pieces to the outside of the wings. Make sure the blade pieces are extended up and close the back of both wings. Do this, there we go. And then we gotta pull the armor pieces inside here. So we gotta pull all this out. It's multiple things, not just one. Now we just gotta do the same thing with the other wing. We open this up and then we pull out the pieces individually and then we take this armor stretch it out to cover this piece then we just rotate all of this then we can close it back up right after and there you go that's what the entire figure looks like after he's been transformed which frankly speaking 
it looks pretty good. The green is a good contrasting color. I do think the green kind of just makes it like a Power Ranger in a way, <laughs> if that makes any sense. The armor looks pretty sick though. I do like the red strips on the front. That's some good contrast. And this, these literally look like missiles. Actually, no, they're, they're lights. They're definitely lights, but they look pretty sick. The Monarch logo in the middle is a nice touch. And you have these just blades, shoulder blades and all that. Look at all the detailing on this thing. This actually looks very solid. Not bad at all for a figure that is not lore accurate whatsoever because this really does look like Monarch took the time to give Rodan some solid upgrades. The wings is really where you can see some like additional weapons pop out and additional armor. It looks pretty solid. It looks pretty solid. I think they've nailed this transforming feature. It is a lot of steps and thank God they give you the instruction sheet and they do have the videos on, on their website if you are very confused. <laughs> the instructions sheet was not enough for you, but the armor does look pretty solid on him that's for sure i'm not sure about this i don't know what's the point of this i feel like these flaps here are kind of useless so i don't feel like there was a need to include them there is the shin armor as well which is all pretty solid so overall this transforming feature so far on rodan and we haven't seen godzilla or kong yet but on rodan it looks pretty solid i'm i'm sold honestly i think this is a very solid looking figure even after the transforming but before the transforming rodan as himself also looked pretty good if i do say so myself the only criticism i'm gonna give this rodan is the screw holes. Rodan has not escaped the curse of the screw holes. Unfortunately, there is six very clear looking screws in the back here. Really wish you could have found a way to cover it up. I know it's essential to keep this figure in together using these screw holes, but it's so evident. That's, I know it's in the back, which is good because you just display it like this and you won't notice it, but it would be nice if we can actually just find a way to cover it up. And there you go. But other than that, I am very happy with this Rodan. It looks very solid, even with the transforming features. So out of 10, I'm gonna give Playmates only Rodan so far a solid 8 out of 10. Maybe add some articulation and definitely cover up the screw holes. That's my big criticism. But the transforming feature, a definite win. I think they've done a pretty good job on it. It looks solid. Like, look at this. It looks like Rodan really got, like, an armor from Monarch. And I can honestly see this work in the movies, should they bring the character back. So, with that being said, that's all I gotta say for the Titan Tech Rodan, a pretty solid figure. And honestly, I had my doubts about the Titan Tech figures, but now that I've actually opened one, I am excited to see what Godzilla and Kong will look like. For now, that's it for this review. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And of course, check out my other Playmates reviews if you haven't already. As for now, we're gonna see you in the next video.